Oh, put the spotlight man. on this nigga. Today's broadcast brought to you in part by the 2017 Baltimore Music Awards. Let your voice be heard at the 2017 BMAs. Polls are now open for this seventh annual red carpet event honoring Baltimore. Log on to BaltimoreMusicAwards.com before December 3rd to cast your votes in all categories. Now, December 3rd is for the voting. The actual ceremony is December the 5th. Hosted by, who's the host? Oh, that, that one shorty, that girl Mahogany Brown. I think that's her name. 80s, baby. Hey, 89. <laughs> 89, like okay, just barely, Eva. just barely. Okay, you can come outside in the 90s, could you? I barely. barely. I had to you was out in the steps. 2000s. So I never saw the potential hoism in me, so I had okay. to stay <laughs> on the steps. Okay. I could not leave the steps. You like the older guys, huh? Yeah, okay. 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 All right, so I, when you're old. I, I old. <laughs> Because yeah, I'm I'm older now. Look. Uh, oh, hold on, nigga. Let me fix my shit. Twenty. I'm how old? I'm ratio. Oh, my last was twenty years older than me. I'm trying to tone it down. That fifteen now. Fifteen years older than me. You can ride this motherfucking ride. I am. Okay. <laughs> shit is real. All right, it's going down with your girl Mahogany Brown. This is the last show before I host the Baltimore Musical Boys. Okay. How you guys feel about that? Have you ever been to I've never been, but I think I'm gonna go this year. You gonna go this year? Yeah, I got you. You should have performed this year. You could have fucked yeah, it hey, up. Hey, ain't nobody called me. I was Man, nobody call. Call. Oh, we gotta tell. Okay, we gotta uh, tell this his people to call your people to hook that shit up. I know it's people too. You know his people too, yeah, man. Yeah. See, How like, you feel about the Boston music? Man, Boy, you positive <laughs> about it? It's a positive thing. Yeah. Uh, every year, you know, highlighting all the folks who's doing outstanding things in the city. We need it. Right. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? All right. What I like to do, I like to break the ice. We are family here. So a good way, I, I usually do a quiz. Okay. I said fuck that quiz shit. Uh, I just want to know a little bit about yourself. A good way to know about a person is to know what porn category they choose <laughs> when they decided to partake in porn. I have my picks. I have my favorite porn category. If you want me to go first to break the ice. Yeah, you go first. All right. Yeah. I'm going to walk it in steady. So on a on a slow night where I just right. want to be nice and <laughs> slow, I go with Ebony Lesbian. That's mm -hmm. my that's my number one top pick. If you go, if you put www.p Pornhub is gonna finish on my <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna finish on my shit. Like real right. shit. But I also I like a little um all right, I think I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give one first, and then I'm gonna let you go, Monty. Uh, like, yeah, yeah. I'll take just the one. Floor. One you like. Just one. I'm gonna go with um Ebony. Everything black. Ebony. First of all, everything is black. Ebony but I'm gonna go with nice. Ebony uh BBW. Ebony BBW. Ooh, yeah. deep. <laughs> Last don't don't put no milfs in no fucking oh. all right. What you like? <laughs> I don't, I, don't, I don't even look at porn. Oh, God. I like to yeah, do it. Yeah. You want to, you want to. I can't, I can't lie. So what category would you be in if you, <laughs> let, let's change it up. If you had to put yourself in the category, what would your star category be? Oh, man. Uh, anything. <laughs> <laughs> anything. No, you know, anything goes, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, I got one more for y'all. I yeah. like anal cream pie. What the hell? Oh, this is a, <laughs> that's a deep fucking category. That's when I'm real nasty and wet, like hey, ready. Yeah. I'm going to want an really, anal really, cream pie. Really break that down. Now. All right, now. You know what anal cream I, pie is? I know is? what it is. Oh, yeah. cream pies are amazing. So, <laughs> they weren't doing all that back in the they day. Was not this, cream this, pie. This, no, no, I guarantee shit. it was cream pie, but it was probably like called hurry anal yeah, cream pie. Yeah, it probably <laughs> So cream pie. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a, <laughs> um like a hostess? What's in the middle? White stuff. Right. Like absolutely. Right. Right. So you um ej ejaculate into the anus. Right. All your semen. This is right. the correct term. And that's what they. And when it gushes out, it looks creamy and pieish. So it's like give a visual of a cream pie. Wow. Yeah. So, that's so you more. probably you been doing more? it, but now. Well, I never. See, I just, we got a call. Just, Oh going, shit! You, if you call in, you better tell me your motherfucking category. I got another nasty one for y'all. Hold on, we got a um, call. What you mean? What categories? What's the what's the combo? Ho hold oh, on, no, you gotta tell. You hold on when you coming. You gotta tell when you watching porn. 
What's your go-to category? What do you like to look at? You sound like a, a threesome Damn. category type girl, <laughs> but I'm not the one to judge. She sounds like a I mean, I've never had a threesome, but I would like to try it. But oh, um, hold on, get her number. Oh now, yeah, get save her that in the I love. I put pussy on a bitch, but for you. Bring it back we, do, out. we do have a. I do have a number. You got a number. All right. <laughs> well, well, that. Why would you want to try three? You, you don't want to. She just said that because it sounds good. Yeah. Okay. All right. She just said it because it sounded. All right. Good. She sounded like a screamer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, what is your name? Where you calling from? You said what's my name? Yes, ma'am. My name is Trey K. I call because my brother is on the show. Hey, hey, what's up, hey. sis? Hey, I cannot DP her. Uh, that, that, just, that, just, that, that just changed the whole tone. What's up, sis? When you that, come in and call, you gotta say, "Hey, hey, hey, my brother's on the show." <laughs> <laughs> you gotta disclose that shit me, first. Y'all hit me with the question. I'm like, "Go oh, alright, I'm gonna hit the question uh, first, yeah. and then I'm gonna let y'all know who it is." My bad. Don't my ask bad. no more questions. I get a little nasty fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pardon me. Hey. Uh-huh. Shout out about your brother. Please um give your brother some encouraging words on his career, what he's doing, how far he's came. Tell us a little bit about him. We want to hear from you first. Um, all uh, right. Well, my bro has man, been doing an three awesome minutes. job. <laughs> Actually, okay. he's like really come a long way. He he really gives me advice almost every single week, which makes me go even harder. So he's a really great artist, I would say, and he's still improving, and I just love it. So, hey, yeah. can, can you sing yes, too? Yes. Can you sing too? <clears throat> I can, but I'm I'm sick right now. Okay. Uh, all right, Whitney, we ain't gonna let you sing it. We ain't gonna make you sing today, Whitney. All right. Thank you so much for calling. We appreciate you. And I want to tell you, it's important to encourage each other and tell him how, how great he's doing um, and just be on his team and everything that he got, just support him. Thank you so much for calling in. Always love you. Love you too, Sean. Love you too. I, I just wiped the milk <laughs> off his lip. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother calling to nigga? I don't know. All right, yeah. man, shit. Yeah, I don't want to know her know. category. No, me neither. Hang that hang that <laughs> yeah. That ain't gonna be good. All right. So man, we have the wonderful Cornelius Adams in the building. This nigga been in the game since 1953. Yeah. Everybody stand up and shout out. I've been putting in work for a minute. Yeah, for a long time, <laughs> man. Oh, man. Too long. Yeah. Right. You came from the streets, but you wasn't a product of it, which I appreciate that. And tell us a little bit about yourself and just the movement that you um, has partaken in Baltimore. First of all, I want to thank you for having me on your show. Thank you. Uh, you know, again, I'm Cornelius Adams, you know. Those who know me from around the way call me P, you know. What uh, the P stand for? Punisher? No, I'm P. All right. We're <laughs> so talk I don't know why they call me that if they really don't, you know. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, man, I started this journey, man, trying to help my city, you know, long, over 20 years ago. You know, I started in music, uh, you know, you know, just, you know, performing. You know, I started out singing, producing, and things of that nature. Uh, you know, doing shows, being a promoter, then, you know, just, you know, elevated, you know, as I got older and start, you know, just being more business minded. Cause you know, when I was younger, I just wanted to be in the game. You know, I had a six pack, I had baby hair, you know, I just wanted to run around the city, you know what I mean? And sing. Yeah. Like, like my man. Okay. 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 And you know, I just wanted to, you know, sing and just, you know, just be on the scene. But as I got older, man, I sing, you know, but I, you know, I, I, I sing for myself now, you know, I don't really okay. don't, you know, I sing in all my plays and things of that nature, but I don't really, you know, because I can't, you know, gyrate no more, you know what all I mean? Right, all right, you know, all so, right, you know, all right. We call it turkey now. Yeah, whatever right. you do, so, you know, you got to, <laughs> you know, I, I can't do cartwheels, and I'm too old to be doing all that, but, you know, I got the magazine, Vital Magazine. Yes, uh, shout out to Vital Magazine. Yeah, you know, we, Y'all been you know, putting a lot, you got to yeah. get into Vital Magazine. Yeah, I we, see, we, we, I've, been, I've been scrolling it's through. It's definitely monumental. Yeah. It's yeah, tough. we're over three years strong, you know, uh, you know, doing interviews on outstanding individuals in the community and and just helping entrepreneurs, you know, uh, tell their story. 
Um, so, you know, the magazine in 2018 is really, really going to be really super, super big. We're going to be in Atlanta as well. Um, so we're just doing some great things. And, uh, you know, my play, Mama's Kitchen, um, January 27th, you got to come see that. The best play in the nation. I Gu- guarantee when you see this play, it's going to change your life. Um, and then also my book, The Power of a Woman. <laughs> ladies, just, you know, I, I go all over the place. I tell the young ladies, this book will change your life, guaranteed. Okay. Or your money back. Guaranteed. Will change your life. Guaranteed. The power of a woman. The power of a woman. What gave you the, uh, I guess, who ordained you to write from the standpoint, the power of a woman? Or well, is it the best to learn from a man? Well, you know, I like that's a hell of a question, too. Number one, I'm a single dad. So I raised two girls. Shout you know, out to single and, dads. And, and they're 21 and 23 now. So that gave me a lot of experience to really have insight on, you know, the day to day. Um, you know, you know, being of a woman, you know, from a girl, every stage, to, right, every stage. And then as a father, I saw what I wanted for my daughters to have. And as a man, as a, as a soulmate, as a mate or a husband. And so I wanted to be a part of the solution and not a part of the problem. I see a lot of women out here that are just dealing with, you know, so many, you know, different, um, you know, problems. And they don't have anyone really to tell them the you know, real how to get out of these problems. And I said, you know what? I have some knowledge. You know, I've been all over the place talking to women. A lot of my plays are about love. And I said, you know what? Let me, you know, and I did research as well. So I asked a lot of women different questions. And so I just formulated, you know, all the questions I asked <clears throat> and the responses. Um, I formulated this book to help women tap into their power. Okay. You know, because women you have to be accountable for your life no man can do anything to you that you don't allow him to do so that being said if you know if you dating if if you like a jail guy then you should know what comes along with dating a jail guy good dick if you you like that (laughs) no i'm playing if if you like that then you know your circumstance okay empower yourself to know your circumstances and every move that you make right and the book will just give you accountability it just tell you good things that you need to know um, from a man because i think a lot of women walk around and they just they're being taught by other women and they're not being taught the right things they need Mm -hmm. to know about life you know and i think men you know, have things, you know, pervy that we can teach women about what men look for in women. A woman can't tell a man necessarily. They can tell a woman how to be a woman, how to act like a woman, but they can't tell a woman what a necessarily what a man is looking for. And so I try to tell women. What's your take on the power of a woman? Yeah. Like this young man, what's, what is your take on the power of the power of a woman? The power of a woman. Man, first of all, women are super powerful. Okay. They're super they powerful. have superpowers. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. They got more power than they think they have, okay. but they don't have as much as they want to have. And I say that because you can you can have complete control over a man in certain ways, but not the ways that you're looking for. Like women always say you can't you can't uh teach an old dog new tricks or you can't raise a man. And a lot of them look to do that. You know, a lot of us, we in relationships where women try to change their man into the man that they that they want them to be, and you can't mm-hmm. do that. So you got to really find which ways that you have the power and which ways you can control a man if you're looking to do that or ways to, you know, help your man and better him or whatever it may be that your goal is in that relationship, and you got to use that power. But a woman is very powerful. Shit, I, I'll bow down. Okay. I'm, I'm glad you said that. Well, women need to understand you should never try to control a man. Mm, or change. Um, or change. You cannot change a man. A man changes when he's when he sees something that he needs to change for. Okay. So women gotta understand. A young lady said to me the other day, she said, Why women why men don't protect women anymore? And I said, when, men do protect women. They just protect a woman that they deem um important to protect. Mm. So, ladies, if you make yourself important, if you make yourself relevant, um, and I'm not just talking about for sex, if you make yourself relevant, men will protect you. Men will treat you different. You have to um, treat yourself the way you want that man to treat you. Because okay. ultimately, when a man look at you, he number one, he's going to look at how you view yourself. True. If you have low self-esteem, if you don't care how you dress, how you smell, how you look, if, what you eat, how you talk, then he's going to treat you the same way. Okay. 
Are these ladies taking notes? Say it again. I hope these ladies <laughs> taking notes. I hope they are too, because the it's book is very to, powerful. To get men yeah. to not necessarily the sensitive side, but it's hard to get men to have like um, deep embedded conversations from a standpoint of looking at a woman in a um a way other than sexual. Right. A lot of times we when we are analyzing the female and with today's media is a lot of sexual condescendence, harassment going on in the media today. And a woman's body or just a woman per se is deemed as sexual. But if you take that sex out of it, everything that she stands for is power. Listen, you know what I say in my book? I tell a young lady, when you meet a guy, number one, don't ever give him your number. Mm, we got to no, 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 no. Get, <laughs> make, oh. I got this one story. <laughs> yeah, okay. so, I, I don't know if it's true or not. A guy asked a young lady for his not for a number. Right. She said, no, I'm not giving you my number. You're not my kind of guy. So she he gave her his phone. Oh, yeah, I heard about yeah, that. Yeah, gave her a phone and drove off. <laughs> Creepy, like, first of all, is it like GPS on this shit? Right, like, yeah, I'm about to go yeah. fuck my other nigga. I don't need right. your phone to be ringing. But hold on, that's another story. <laughs> but see, but see, that's, what I'm saying. So, that's some game, though. Yeah, but see, at the end of the day, I think that you know, when you you got to make that demand for you, mm. you know, it's so easy for men to get women now. There's no demand for them now. You, like, mm -hmm. you know, Saturday, Friday night coming, right? right? There's some guy right now saying, <laughs> Friday night, I'm going out Friday night and I'm coming home with something. Ain't say I'm coming home with a number. Ain't say I'm coming home with something, with something, a woman. I think what changed so, the game is men found out. I don't know who told you, motherfuckers, that y'all are the prize. It's a lot more <laughs> of us, and it's a lot less of y'all. That makes us the prize. But we yeah, not that, know. But y'all right. didn't know that, like in the eighties. <laughs> but we like, not. Y'all niggas was really trying hard, like with deep parts and shit. Y'all was really trying <laughs> but, to but listen, we, fuck us. But we now, was like, hold on, bitch. Oh, I got four other ones. The internet came and we yeah, saw well, everything. It up. Uh, but we got uh, IG. No, like not saying that's no. I'm not saying you all the prize as far as like deep embedded. We yeah, are. and a deeper mean. I'm just talking about the step competition. Game up. Yeah, we got to. Y'all got to step y'all game because up. there's three more of us so ready to replace us in everything that we're doing. Yeah, <laughs> let me tell you something. If you, <laughs> if, you if you read this book, right, <laughs> and there's really no competition because. And fellas, I may throw y'all under the bus no, right it. now. Please put me. Uh -oh. His mic is might get cut off. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's really not Man, that skip. difficult. It's really not a lot of competition because you have a lot of men out there that are not worthy. Oh, so you gotta knock them out. That's so, nobody. So, so, like, so the book. So the book. Fucking yeah. over. Yeah. So the book. Yeah. Fucking so, no, listen, cream pies so, all so the, the time. Book, like, so the book is yeah. teaching you. Listen, the no, the no automatically who's not worthy. Okay. So when you know it's not worth it, then you go, girl, you can have him. You know, he's going to run your credit up and you know, all of that. So you can say, you can have him. No, realistically. Meanwhile, we're trying to wean through what's worthy. We still like one of our. Well, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, that's Get you a problem. young nigga. You got, listen, you find that one dude and then you have him. Just be you, fucking Cinderella. Like, you know oh, I'm just going <laughs> to clean the house. No, nah, you ain't got to be Cinderella, <laughs> but wait you just got to be Prince smart. A Murphy Home Project. You got to be smart. Because <laughs> listen. <laughs> You gotta be smart. That's the no, no, I'm, I'm talking from a, a, a funny. <laughs> we know, we know. But I'm saying that's what? the problem, young lady. So I just want to know your worth. I want to right. Know your know worth. Your worth at the you end of the mean? day. Look, when you know your worth, and at the end of the day, that guy is gonna come along. Is gonna can't live without what you have to offer. I, we just gotten so far away from courting, from right. um getting to know each other. It's so immediate. It's like sexual when you meet someone that. Where where is the time when you can be like, oh hey, my name is da 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 da, oh, yeah. and I want to get to know you deeper. I'm, like. I'm great, I'm great. Cause it's some, cause Trina ready to fuck. Yeah, like I'm, I'm great. Cause mm -hmm. confusion right now, ladies. You over some a dude over your house right now. Right now, a dude got your car right now. A guy has a key to mm -hmm. your house mm -hmm. right now. When the last time you got some roses? When the last time he sung a song to day. you? When the last, oh, right, I ain't talking about Mother's <laughs> Day or Christmas. I'm talking right. about just for nothing. When the last time he rubs your feet? It's really going to have to take all of us right. to kind of be like, look, put our foot down and tell all of us as a whole unit, like not accept less. Right. Then it's going to be acceptable. And then where do we stand? Like, you, I understand right. where you're coming from. When the last time y'all shared a snowball? A snowball? Yeah, I mean, go old school. Okay, all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, We're not talking about me per se. You know? When the last time you, you shared a crab leg? It's not hard out. for me getting together. Like, that's the easy part. The you know hardest, my thing, my problem, I'll tell you, my problem is. 
Yeah, yeah I, I mean, just, you know, <laughs> so listen, if your guy brung you a snowball, I, I and a, if your guy brung you a snowball in the winter time, that nigga like you. The nigga that bring me Chick Fil A on the Sunday like you. is the nigga that brings me. Ah, we can do that. Save it. Save it. But that's but but that's that's not that's not different though. Shit. <laughs> bring me Chick Fil A on a Sunday. Nigga, bring you a snowball. Toppy. Nigga, bring you a snowball during the winter time. Oh shit, shit real. Man. Shit is real. With two straws. With one straw, it's shit. Straw. It is, it is real. He love Don't you. Don't bring me no fucking snowball. You know what I'm saying? That guy. Give me the money. If that guy come to your job and sing a song to you in front of your coworkers. Oh, we do have a singer in the building. Yeah, hey, that, now. That was, that, was no Two of them. that was no for him to do something. Yeah, hold, hold on. Two of them. Stop the presses. <laughs> you know yeah. what they say. If you are a singer, you might always be ready to I told sing. Him that. I, told him that. I told him that. I told him that. Oh, oh always, shit. Uh, Let me drop okay. my panties. Okay. Hey. Hey. That's, that's, all, right, so, all right. What's happening? First of all, tell me how did you get your name? It was a complete accident. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I was super young. I was like seven years old. Okay. I was in the third grade. You were singing at seven? Yes, sir. Oh, wow. And yeah, all the first graders. The, the teachers was going around asking everybody what they wanted to be when they grew up. Always want to die. And everybody was like, yeah, I want to be a, a firefighter and police officer. And I was like, well, yeah, I want to be an entertainer because I didn't want to say singer because everybody was going to ask me to sing. I wasn't ready back then. <laughs> So I said, yeah, I want to be an entertainer. So, you know, the teacher kept going on. And the girl next to me was like, so what's your name going to be? And I was like, what you mean? What's my name going to be? I don't need a, another name. I got a name. She was like, well, you know, Jay-Z's name isn't Jay-Z. And I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. So we was watching a program on the TV, and it was called Safari Montage. And it was, like, about nature and all this. And I was like, well, my name going to be Safari. And she was like, I don't really like that. <laughs> and I was you're like, well, you feel me? Yeah, and I was like, that's cool, because I don't like it either, because my name going to be Montage. She was like, oh, yeah, that's that's unique. That's different. I was like, yeah, and I just rocked with it ever since then. I like it. I like it. That's like, like it. a stripper name, though, man. So, your first, <laughs> it did. Yeah. Montage. Montage. Your, your name. <laughs> so would you all sing for us, Montage? Oh, yeah, I get a little something. Just all a right. little. Just a little, like, wet out whistle. Dab. Yeah, just yeah. wet it, like, do, like, put the head in. Put it in there? Yeah. Oh. Sweet lady, would you be my sweet love for a lifetime? I'll be there when you need me. Just call and receive me. Woo! See that? Hey, yo, have singing ever gotten you pussy? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah most of them. Good... <laughs> most of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell me a good story. Like, you had to been like, I mean, all else fail, bitch, I can say. See, uh, I mean, it's since we had this little talk a couple okay. seconds ago, it's like nowadays it's real easy. Like, mm -hmm. we like can have people. sex and not even know your name or nothing about you. Don't. you. It's her Facebook ID. So it's like, Mahogany Brown. I could just stand with the right person and they just going to assume I got as much money as them and I'm where they at in life just because I'm with them. True. So uh, I was out. Um, it's actually Trey Songs was here on tour and uh, uh, I was fortunate enough to be with him that day. He was with Trey, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> and oh I was like... I was that with him. You, you at, <laughs> I see that. There you go. <laughs> I'm ready to give it up. Like, I was with he him. He just was with Trey. And afterwards, um, he was leaving to go back on the tour bus. He had another place to go. And I was leaving. And we left at the same time out the back door. And it was all his fans outside waiting and all that. So, you know, I dapped him up. And I'm, I'm walking the other way. He getting on the bus. And I'm walking past all the ladies. They grabbed me like, wait, wait, you going to be with Trey? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> they like, are you a backup dancer? Are you? I was like, no, nah, I'm a they were like, oh, you sing? Oh, you sing? Like, Trey about to bring you on tour with him? I was like, yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I perform tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's called standby. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, Catch all the pussy tray ain't yet. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> they thought, they was like, hey, you going to be with them tomorrow? I'm like, I'm going to be with them later tonight. Actually, I'm about to go to the hotel and freshen up. Mm -hmm. They was like, oh, can can we go with y'all? I was like, well, y'all can't yeah. come to my hotel. Yeah. got a team in it, but I can rock with y'all. So I went back there. <laughs> Whichever one was trying the hardest, I just rock with her. And, All right. You know? That's a good story. Ain't no cream pot. No. Hey. I'm a Gucci. I'm going to get the same thing. 
You ain't tell us where you're playing. It. It's going to be January 27th uh, at the Downtown Cultural Center, the okay. dinner theater. So, we, you know, we're giving some food to you folks. Come out and see an outstanding play. Um, and I got, you know, some of the, you know, the you know, hottest talent in the city, Hootie Shalom. Uh, man, uh, I'm forgetting anybody's name. Uh, the all uh, them. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> All of them. I got an outstanding cast, though. But uh, shout out to Huli and all y'all. Yeah, uh, he's supposed to be here. I don't know where he, where he at. You know, he ain't never on time. But Shalom Coffee Shop, six seventeen West Fair Street. You go by there, get a hot cup of coffee, a Danish, a uh, bagel. Why we want to top it also about yeah. you? Um, I also want to shout out Vital Magazine monthly network event. I also want to yes, just thank yes. you so much for allowing me to partake in that. Listen, you brought a different energy to the networking event that I didn't have that I desperately need it you know and so you you know you're a, a a piece of the puzzle that i can't replace so i just want to thank you for being a part of the team vital magazine thank team. you shout out and, to us uh, giving away cash motherfucking yeah. money yeah, give away hey, money man. you can't go wrong with giving away money but listen i love my city and uh, vital magazine is here for the city um i'm looking for you know folks to feature in the magazine and i'm gonna say this and you know i hope nobody really don't get mad <clears throat> it's time for the facebook billionaires to stop being on facebook mm. it's time for you all to stop you know stunting on facebook and, ooh, ooh. And, and don't call them and, out and, and start doing them. real business you know we have a lot of violence in the city but we need all these folks that's on facebook you know stunting with the money and saying they're doing this it's come easy to say right come out it's easy to say i'm a ceo on facebook it's easy because it's your fingers you can say it but you know let other people talk about your body of work mm. let other people you know, say what you're doing. And you do that by actually getting out here in the public, um, using your brand for good, using your brand to help other people. Um, we're having a toy drive December the 16th. Okay. I'm trying to do a thousand toys for a thousand kids. And we're going to get as close as possible. We um, can't do that. And we, we did a lot of toys last year. Um, and I want to do even more this year. So please come out um, December the 16th, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. at SNS Lounge. All you got to do is bring a toy. You can, if you want to perform, I don't care what you do. You want to tap dance, you can sing, you can play the tambourine. I don't care what you do. It's right. for the kids. Come up. We're going to have food. It's going to be a good time. But, you know, I'm calling all my bosses, all my CEOs, all my wannabe CEOs. It's time to just stop talking on Facebook. Show up. Mm -hmm. Stop you know, putting things in action because our city needs you. All right. All right? Come on, Coach. Tell us where we can find you. Give somebody a young, another. I want you to also give a young, another young black male that's. You know, singing is isn't always cool. Yeah. Know? And a lot of times we do have young black talented men in the city, but they think that shit is cool to be part of a game or carry a gun and um or just talk negatively. But mm -hmm. just first give him some inspiration to follow his dreams and tell us where we can find you. Well, um, first to the to the young black male, uh, I went through the same thing. So like even all my friends, I was young and they was like yeah, when they when they when it was cool, when all the ladies was around, it was lunchtime or whatever. They was like, yeah, sing to him. Yeah, this is my bro. But when we was outside, we was on the block, whatever. They like, nah, man, don't sing out here. It's, <laughs> like, I got cool. sales coming through, and you singing and all that. Like, what you doing? So it's like, you know, you just gotta you gotta be confident in yourself. And if people don't want to accept you for what you're doing, then that's that's not your crowd. Change Can you say people. that again, please? Yeah, yeah. say that again, that's, please. <laughs> if the people don't want to accept you for what you're doing and who you are, then that's not your crowd. They're not your real friends. Absolutely. Say that one more time. I, think I, need, a, I need a three <laughs> piece. No, real three shit. Piece. That's a threesome. Yeah, three, three. <laughs> for all the people that's around you that don't accept you for what you do and who you are, they're not your friends. Yeah, I just absolutely. want to commend you on your career. Thank you. Um, the sky's the limit with you. First of all, you are very presentable. You're very well poised, and you got the look. Thank don't you. Don't let nobody tell you different. I okay? Are, um, can you dance? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, you can rock yeah, off shit, okay. Tell right, I just want to know. What's what you got coming up next? Man, you can find me on everything at AMG Montage. A M G M O N T A G E. Because I know some people didn't graduate from nothing, but it's okay. I didn't either. All right. But um, I got Are a project coming up. Yeah, Northeast Dutch Village. Okay. Right. Northeast. So, I know people yes, sir. Sorry. All right, we can talk about that shit. Oh, it's Dutch Village. It's all my Dutch Village people. Yeah, shout out to them. Shout out to them. That's the bad part. We just call that the Yeah, Call it what you want. I call it home. About a Home Depot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. This is But I got a project coming up. It's called Ladies Room. Oh, 
Oh, okay. okay. So, you know, there's some vibes on there. I'm trying to bring real music back because everybody sing, but everybody ain't a singer. Oh, wow. Whoa, you no, he said that one more time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody sing, but everybody ain't a singer. I got. So, are you, you know. auto tune down or, or what? No, nah, no, sir. Okay. You know, auto tune is like a. Yeah. Right. Okay, okay. I, like I don't wear no that. top hats. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Y'all hear that? He bring this, this real music. <laughs> now, now, I'm old school. I grew up on New Edition. We know, right? You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Can we do like a song like that? Can can uh-huh. so can I mean? Do I need to like bleep everything out if I sing one of your songs? Like, nah, no. Can sir. I sing one of your songs? Yeah, you can sing. Lady. That's one of my goals for like my songs. I try not to. I try not to cuss at all. You all might right. get one, one maybe two. Okay. But I try not to cuss it out because yeah, I, I want it. I'm trying to make timeless records. Because yeah, yeah. now, now you got to take a pregnancy Especially test. For the kids. <laughs> you got to take a pregnancy test after I, singing some of these R&B songs. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you know, I just want to thank both of y'all for just coming on. It's going down with your girl, Mahogany Brown. This is not the last time you will see me. I want you back on your show after you produce your record. Oh, yeah, Ladies most wrong, I'm going to probably head a business. Pussy's popping in here for you. Hey. I got you next time. Um, Cornelius, <laughs> right before the yeah. play, we want you to get in um, so we can push, promote, and Absolutely. and set a positive standpoint for it. It was going down with your girl, Mahogany Brown. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. All my fans, my followers, and the people who don't fuck with me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>